Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Jim the Sim, and I am back with another video back in The Sims 4 today, and we are actually back with another custom content showcase video for you guys, so... Without further ado, I will hop right into our showcase, but, um, you know, actually this week we kinda lucked out with the female hair. Um, I think there's like three new hairstyles, and all of them look to be pretty amazing, so I'm pretty excited that we actually got some good hair in The Sims 4, and that's probably the thing that I'm most excited about in this um, custom content showcase is just the female hair because we got three new awesome hairs. So, being that um, this hair that she actually has on is the first one, it is called the Nightcrawler New Yorker hair. So, this hair does come in a few different colors. Um, the typical Nightcrawler colors that would be... So, we have this light brown, and it is medium length. It doesn't go past too far past her shoulders, and then it is just a middle part straight. I like this one a lot. Um, let me just tell you that much. It is probably my top three hairs for The Sims 4 so far. Um, I just think it's so simple, and it looks amazing, and uh, I just think that it looks good um, on any Sim, really, that I've tried it out with so far. So this is probably one of my favorite hairs, and of course it does come in a few different colors. This one is kind of like a whitish red to ombre. Um, blonde, brown, black, pinkish, tan. I like that color from Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler a lot. It's probably one of my favorite colors from them just because it is so um, simple, but it does give like a good twist to the hair. So I will just go ahead and show you a few of these. Just the typical Nightcrawler colors, as I've said. A few ombres in the ear. So, I said that weird. In the ear. But, um, the next hair we actually have is going to be a Stealthic Amber Lights hair. And this is going to be that hair that I have right here. As you can see, it is like a side parted, banged, um, pretty long, actually, hair for the female. So, this one does come in a few different colors. It is the same creator as the Stealthic Vapor hair, which I do appreciate and love so much. So, I think Stealthic is a pretty good designer. Um, Nightcrawler would probably have to be my favorite when it comes to CC, uh, hair. But, um, of course, Nightcrawler... No, I'm getting confused. Nightcrawler is awesome, too. But, here's the hair. It comes in a few different colors. I don't know if I am liking these colors. I would probably have to go with black if I had to choose myself. Just because the other colors kind of look weird with the highlights um, now that I'm noticing that. I don't know if it's the shine that I have on my hair right now. I know that you guys keep telling me to take that off. I still need to figure out how to do that. Um, I just need to take the time to sit down and figure out actually what is wrong with my freaking hair in The Sims 4. But I just don't know if I like the highlights that comes with this hair. So that is the Amber Lights hair for you guys. I like this one a lot. Actually, um, I'm just not digging the highlights. So I'd probably go with like a black, like this all black one right here if I had to pick this hair for my Sims. And the next and last hair is actually going to be Nightcrawler once again. And it's kind of like this one. Um, very, very, very similar, except for this one is a little bit more wavy and it has a little bit more volume, it looks like, if that's what you want to call it. But it is the Nightcrawler turn it up hair so of course this comes in the same nightcrawler hair colors that the um last one just came in so i will go ahead and scroll through a few of those for you guys i do like this one um i definitely like this one a lot um i can see myself definitely using this hair in the future for my sims exactly but i think i'm gonna stick with this one this one is probably my favorite hair color or my hair style um for this week cc i just think that we definitely lucked out this week on female hair cc because it is three amazing hair meshes and i think it's amazing that they all came within the same week so that is that but this one is probably going to be my favorite one from the three of them if you care my opinion on the subject but um on to the next one would be um i'm actually going to go ahead and show you it if i can find it here we go um <clears throat> this one right here i believe maybe not nope not the right one. Awkward. That comes later in the video. Here it is. So it is called the bandage dress for you. And, you know, right off the bat, I don't know if I like this one too much because it kind of does um, look a little big on the hips. I don't know if that's just the dress design, how it's supposed to be, but I do like it. Um, it's kind of a see-through mesh top up here, obviously with cutout lines, and then as you go farther down in the dress, it becomes white so that you can't see too much. I do like this dress. Um, it's pretty decent. Um, lengthwise, and then there's a zipper in the back. The only complaint I do have is with the hip section. It kind of looks weird. I guess if you didn't have that 
I mean, like, that would be normal. If your sim doesn't have hips, definitely I would recommend this dress for you. But if they do, I don't know if you'd want to use it. That's just my opinion on the subject. But I do like this um, dress. It does come in a few different amazing colors. I mean, all the colors actually do look nice with the dress. So, I like the colors of this one a lot, actually. <clears throat> on to the next piece of custom content. Give me one second if I can find it. It is going to be... Let me see if I can find this. If it might... Okay. Um, this one might not be here necessarily because it is kind of more of a formal dress. Here it is actually. Never mind. It is called the Couture Set Kareen Gown. Here you go. It is obviously a very, very, very formal dress as you can see. Um, and it does come in one color, which is kind of like this tannish nude color, depending on what skin tone your sim has. But I definitely do like this one. I think that the beading and everything is amazing on it. So I definitely will probably end up using this maybe for a formal event for my sims that they might be going to. But I don't know about an everyday, um, like just an everyday wear kind of thing. I would probably definitely most likely use this for a formal wear. But uh, that is just me, of course. I don't know if you would um, use it, but it, it does go all the way to the ground, so that is that dress. I think that it's pretty amazing, if you ask me. I definitely do like the detail that is put into this dress. I think that it looks great, and I am sure that a lot of effort and time was put into this dress because it was definitely reflect reflected in the outcome of it. So on to the next dress. It is going to be the constructive dress, and it is kind of very flashy. Um, here it is, actually. So... It, I don't even know what to say about this dress, really. Um, it looks like metal to me. It looks like something that you would see in Tron or something. I don't know. Um, I do like this. I don't know if I will wear it myself. It just seems to be a retexture of this dress right here. So don't get your hopes up or anything over a new dress, um, FYI. But I do like the retexture. It is a nice touch. I don't know where I would ever see my sim wearing this out to. Maybe a formal event, maybe possibly. I don't know. It's just kind of a little bit too flashy and metally and shiny for my liking. Um, but you know, everybody has their own style, as I have said. But um, I do like this. I think it's um, I think it's a pretty creative design for this. I just don't know if I would see myself wearing it. I think it's kind of gaudy, to be quite honest. And on to the next thing. It is actually going to be. Do, 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 if I can find it. Oh, here we go. It is the High Rise Acid Wash Shorts. So, I like these shorts. Um, obviously, they're a little thotty. So, if you want to go with short shorts, um, definitely pick these out. I mean, they are kind of a little bit crazy. Uh, I don't know if you would want your elder sim walking around in these, but I do think that they would be nice for young adult teenager sims. I need to see, um, a lot of the custom content pants, if you don't know, don't go over leggings. I will test that out really quickly. And it looks like, of course, these don't also. So as you can see, the leggings go over it. Just a little disclaimer before you go ahead and consider these. Just know that you will not be able to put leggings under it. If you do think that they are a little bit too short, you probably will not be able to cover it with leggings or anything. So keep that in mind. And to go with this one, we actually have the same set, um, just a short a shirt for this set, actually. So I will go ahead. Here it is, actually. And it is just this little um, kind of t-shirt crop top kind of thing. I do think that these two go well together, so I would definitely probably um, pair these together myself. I do think that they do mesh really well together. Obviously, they are in the same set, so I definitely like these together. Um, and they are both by Cleotopia. Cleotopia if I can say it right, on The Sims Resource, of course. I do like these both. Um, I do think that they are appropriate for more of like a teenager, young adult kind of sim. Obviously, probably not an elder, unless you're kind of into that kind of thing. But, um, you know, everybody has their own their own preference when it comes to that stuff. So, on to the next dress in the showcase. I actually have the dress Serenity. It's called Serenity Dress, actually. I do remember this dress being in The Sims 3 or a variation of this kind of dress. Um, I do like it. It is classy. I could picture my sim wearing it as everyday wear or as a formal wear, really. I do think that it goes with anything, obviously. And it comes in simple colors, so I definitely do like this dress a lot. Um, just kind of sheer um, on the arms, and then obviously the dress itself is kind of like a laced pattern over it. And then it comes in a bunch of different colors, which are all great. I definitely do like this one. I will probably end up wearing this a lot, actually. Mostly probably to formal events, just because it kind of does look like it would fit in a formal event. But obviously it would fit in 
at a everyday wear too. So that is that. And then also I cannot exactly remember what this dress is called, but this was actually supposed to be in my last week's video. Um, I just could not find it at the time because I guess I did not install it correctly or something. But I believe it's called the Harmonia um, b Bandage Dress. I'm going on it on a layered chair because I don't have it right in front of me. But I do like this one. Um, I was kind of upset over myself not being able to find it because I really did want to show this off in the last showcase video because I definitely did like this one. Um, uh, from the pictures, it did look amazing, but as I'm seeing it in the game, I don't think it looks that amazing. Um, I definitely do like it, but I do not know exactly. I will probably end up wearing it, actually. Um, I think that the colors that look best are going to be this tan color, for me at least, tan color and black. But, of course, um, it does come in many different other colors that you might like. So that is that dress, and I am not 100% sure on what it is exactly called, so cut me some slack. But on to the makeup for the women. Um, we do have a couple new eyeshadows, I believe, if I can go ahead and find those. Um, here we go. This is just the eyes line cap. So as you can see, it is a very dramatic um, winged eyeliner, kind of cat eye. It only comes in black, um, and it kind of has like a shiny tint to it on the top of her eyelid. Not really on the side, but more on the top. So when she blinks, you can obviously see it, but not when she's just like that. You know, I will end up wearing this because I actually like my Sims to have the really like jetted out um, eyeliner, and they actually do not have that many in the game. I have the closest I got to this was this eyeliner, and it obviously doesn't jet out as much as this one does, so I will end up wearing this a lot. I can predict that already for my female Sims. So on to the lipstick. I believe it's this. I hope it is. Um, I think it is. Let me see if I'm tripping or not. Um, no, that is actually not it. Awkward. Um, you know, I think it might be this one. I'm not 100% sure. I might be completely wrong. It actually is this one, right? Yep, I think. Yep, no, yes. It is, okay. This is called the S Club, the Sims 4 Lipstick F08. All, already off the bat, um, as you can see, her teeth are th showing through this lipstick. I, I could see somebody wearing this as, like, um, a little AV kind of photo shoot for their Sim, um, profile picture kind of thing. I personally don't like the whole teeth thing for the lipstick on The Sims. I just think it kind of looks awkward, but obviously everybody has their own preference when it comes to this kind of thing. And this just comes in kind of like the, as you would expect, normal colors for lipstick. I don't know if I will ever use this. I will probably end up using it sometime in the future, but I think I'm going to stick to one of these color or one of these lipsticks that actually do not show her teeth, just because that is my personal preference when it comes to lipstick on The Sims 3. I don't really get picky with things like that, but for this one, I'm going to say that I'm going to get a little bit picky for that because I just don't want her teeth showing. Um, sorry if I offend anybody by that, but I just don't want my Sims teeth showing like that. I feel like it's kind of strange. Um, on to the last piece of eyeshadow, eye makeup kind of thing for the female Sims is going to be this eyeshadow C. And, you know, the pictures, I'm going to say, made it look a lot better than it actually does look in the game. I am just looking at this already, and I don't know what the deal is with it. It kind of looks very, very, very strange. I can understand the top of it, but on the bottom, I don't know why it looks like that and why it's not connected to her eye itself. It kind of looks odd with that little space in between the eyeliner and her eye itself. It kind of makes her look like a clown, if you ask me. I guess it might depend on the eyeliner that you wear with it. Um, like, that kind of looks more normal, but it still looks a little dramatic, if you ask me. So, I probably will stray away from this eyeshadow, quite personally, unless I want to make a statement on my sim. But for that, I am probably not going to use on my sim, just to let you know. Um, but if you like it, go for it. I mean, I don't know if I would like it again, but it does come in, like, the same colors that you would expect it to come in for, um, female eyeliner. Or eyeshadow, I should say. It kind of looks like eyeliner, but it's eyeshadow. And on to the men's. I kind of did get a little bit more men's stuff in, um, for the CC video, which I do appreciate because I am just sticking out for, or looking out for those men who play The Sims like I do, so... The first one, I think that all these are going to be from the same creator, believe it or not. Um, this creator had so many new Sims tops this week, which is amazing. Props to them. I'll let you know their name once I do figure it out. 
Um, if I can even find this. Hang on. Hang on. Um, I'm thinking that's an outdoor retreat retexture, but it actually might not. Oh, here it is. Awesome. It was right in front of my face. So, as you can see, it is an Adventure Time top, which I actually find really funny. I do not watch Adventure Time myself, but I know that my brother and sister do. So, if you watch Adventure Time, definitely go for the shirt, because I find this hilarious, and I probably will wear it myself. Um, well... Not myself, my Sims will probably end up wearing this. I just find it funny. Um, but it is a retexture of this little outdoor retreat tee. So keep that in mind when you are looking at this. And then it comes in a few different meshes. Um, nothing too plain. I actually do like all these. They kind of do look amazing. My favorite would probably have to be this one. But, you know, I have no idea. That would just probably be my favorite one out of the ones I just saw. And on to the next one would be... Um, these are all by Cali V, by the way. So, Aztec print shirt, short sleeve shirt. Um, that is going to be, I just saw it, um, a second ago. It is going to be this one right here. Um, so this is obviously just like a polo shirt. I do like this one. Um, I don't know if I'll ever wear it. I most likely will just because of the cool designs on it. If it were like this, I probably wouldn't wear it just because it is the Sims, like, base game custom con or the base game content i do like this one um the designs on it make it look a little bit better but that is the aztec print short sleeve shirt and um on to the last piece of cc for this video for men this would have to be this shirt which is also in another adventure time shirt um, this time it has Finn and Jake, unless, or I can't remember which one is which, but um, it has Finn and Jake, not just the dog. I'm sorry, I don't know which one is the dog, but it does have Finn and Jake. I just know that that's their names, I believe. I might be wrong, who knows. I do like this one a lot, and I, I'll probably end up wearing this even though I do not watch that show myself, but I just find it funny. And then here is this um, little sacrilegious tee that has upside down crosses, it looks like, you know whatever but i don't know um uh, i do like that one anchors if you want to be sporty and festive um for the summertime i do like this one i'll probably end up wearing that and last but not least would be this burger and flower ones because who doesn't like a good burger with a good um set of flowers along with it but that is all that I have for this video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed all these CC finds. Um, I love doing these videos. I love finding CC and showing it off to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, CC finds video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Let me know what your favorite piece from this whole CC showcase was down below in the comments. I would love to read your comments and see what you guys liked the most. But until next time, I will see you guys later. And thank you guys so much for watching. And bye, guys.